People in our local communities often come up with questions about their local history, from family trees to what happened in the war, from histories of houses, churches and schools, about food and agriculture, health and disease, charities and workhouses. The list seems to be endless. As local history groups, we probably have literally shed loads of material, from research papers to transcripts of local records, from magazine articles, records of local events, notebooks full of background research, and much, much more. This material comes from the efforts of our members over many years. It can amount to thousands of hours of painstaking research. It has built a treasure trove of local history. What should we do with this fantastic resource? How can we share it with our local communities to answer some of their questions, to offer them a bridge to the past? This 10 minute talk will address that need using as an example, a local project and demonstrating to all that local history lives. My local history group is based in Hampshire and it's called Milford on Sea Historical Record Society or Moshers as we know it. Moshers is all about making Milford's history easier to get at. We took an important step five years ago. We launched our website. This hosted our first online search aid for the local community. Many will know that a search aid is like the index to a book. It helps you find what you're looking for. It narrows down your search. It makes the researcher more productive. Our first search aid was the online catalogue of all our historical records, our archive. And when it was launched on our website, it was the first time ever that the catalogue had been made readily available to the general public. Today, you can search over 10,000 records. Well, that's where we were a year ago. But we have much more material which can help the researcher. And that is what we are offering in our project, Local History Lives. So, Let's have a look at what's new. We have launched five new online search aids. The Research Library, the Names Directory, the Baptism Registers, the Marriage Registers and the Burial Registers. Our research library shares a fantastic resource of over 150 local history articles published in our occasional magazine. There are over 1700 pages of local history in word sensitive PDF files. This ensures they can be fully searched as well as being easily accessed using text to speech software. Each article has a cover sheet that includes a citation, which is most important for a researcher as it provides an audit trail for their research. Our names directory searches for local people and places across a range of sources. Historians are always on the lookout for lists. These tell us who might have known whom, and where, and when. Our directory of Milford lists includes Poor Law Parish Rate Books,
from 1797, half tax records from 1665, tithe settlement schedules from 1841, and lay subsidy rolls from 1586, and many, many more. A search for a name will tell the researcher the date, the place, the list name and, critically, where to find the original record or facsimile. We have lists of nearly 80,000 records. Our parish registers are split into three separate search aids which take the researcher up to the start of civil registration in 1837. Online access is available to Milford's baptisms, marriages and burials, with nearly 20,000 records stretching from 1594 to 1837, all at your fingertips. As with the names directory, you won't see the original record but you will be told the date and the register where the entry can be found. If you wish to see the original or a copy of the original record, they are held at local libraries and the Hampshire Record Office. As you would expect, a project like this needs resources to make it fly. We've received financial support from the National Lottery Heritage Fund Hampshire Archives Trust, Milford-on-Sea Parish Council and Hampshire County Council, as well as Mosher's own contributions. The funds are largely devoted to outsourced specialist work of customising the software to power the applications, as well as preparing and loading data files. Here we have worked with a company called Community Sites, who built our original website. The funds are also used for outreach, project evaluation, hosting and maintenance, and a slug of training for those who will manage the search aids going forward. As important as the funding are the volunteer resources. Our project stands on the shoulders of many of our past members. To start with, we are drawing on some 11,000 hours of voluntary work by Mosher's members over the past 100 years. Putting all that into a manageable form for online access has needed voluntary work today. We have also been fortunate in having the help of a neighbouring local history group the Milton Heritage Society in providing transcripts of some of the parish registers. Let's take a look at the benefits. Our search aids now contain over 100,000 records. That's a tenfold increase in records available to the public. They may be accessed using either simple searching or wildcard searches and bring history to your fingertips. All the data is downloadable or copyable from the website. Short videos show the new user how to use each online search aid and for the research library all the articles are readily usable with text-to-speech software to assist the visually impaired and the neurally diverse. The search aids leverage the past research efforts by our members, that's the 11,000 hours I talked about, and this is just the start. Potentially there is much, much more to share. Our search aids will, we hope, stimulate research into our local history. We are building in resilience through specific training videos and operating manuals. There is a feedback form for each search aid to capture alternative transcriptions as well as broader comments. All the search aids are designed 
so that they can grow as more information becomes available. Finally, where can these search aids be found? All the search aids are accessible through our website. There are two easy ways to access the search aids from the home page. Use the ribbon menu at the top of the page and click on Research Forum. And from the drop-down menu, select your chosen search aid. Alternatively, use one of the hyperlinks in the text below the Local History Lives logo. I believe that we offer one of the best ranges of online search aids of any local history website in the country. I'm sure these search aids will help to make local history live for our community and beyond. If you or your local history group wish to find out more about our Local History Lives project, then please make contact through the website.